topic is IPv4 DOS policy. The same we have IPv6 DOS policy as well. We know DOS policy. I believe you already know DOS. Denial of services. And I show you a, a, a lab as well. If you want to bring down any services, anything, any network, any something, so for this purpose, we are using DOS attack, denial of services. And it can be any, it can be sync flooding attack, it can be sweeping attack, it can be ICMP flooding attack, it can be ping of death attack, it can be so many attack to use CDP flooding attack. If you want to down the switch, make flooding attack, you want to down the switch, CDP flooding attack to down the router, just for the example. So, DOS to bring something down, the same thing we can bring down the router, other the services as well. So if somebody is going to attack on your devices, on your server from outside to bring down the devices, you can control them to use IPv4 DOS policy and 40 gate firewall. They will check for everything, flooding attack, scanning as well. You know there is attacks, we call them reconnaissance attack. Reconnaissance attack means to search for open port. It's we call them scanning like uh, in map we are using. Because you know army, like army, when they want to attack some place, first they, we call them reconnaissance. They also call them in army term terminology. They search the place, they investigate the place, they get the information, then they attack. The same as reconnaissance attack. First, the attacker will collect the data, port scan and port detail, IPs detail, everything. So they are using so many tools, we call them reconnaissance attack. So IP4 policy not only protect you from DOS attack, but from scanning attack, either sweeping attack, we call them. So DOS policy will protect from any such type of things. It can be sweeping, it can be scanning, it can be flooding, it can be anything. So this way you can mitigate your inside server in DMZ and inside from any sort of attack to use IPv4 DOS policy and FortiGate firewall. We will use a small topology. I'm connected through net outside and I'm connected to LAN segment inside. In real world, it will be opposite. This will be here and net will also, internet will be also here. Here you will be a so many server and DMZ and inside. LAN and DMZ server. So somebody will try to attack from outside to down your servers to do DOS attack. But because for lab purpose, I will use Kali Linux for inside and will do attack outside on my server, which is outside XP. But it will be opposite in real world. This will be outside and your server will be inside. Anyway, it's okay. We just this the test purpose just to create the policy oppositely. So let me show you my topology which is mentioned here. So I have XP outside. So outside we are using this subnet, IP config. This is my net subnet. 114.150 is my server. And let me enable the server as well. Zem server, you can use any Zem server, Vim server, whatever you want to use. Also, there is a small utility to open so many port, icecast.org, start this one. What this small tool will do? It will open so many port in this XP for a take purpose. So I enable this one as well. So my 80 port is enabled, my 443 port, oh, it's 8080. Let me stop them. Normally they checking for default port, so it's better to make them default. For last lab we changed them, yeah, you remember? So let me change them to 80. Save, and let me start again now. 
So ATN443 is enabled. My SQL port is enabled. 1134 uh, 33006. File if you want to enable file zilla port is enabled. Mercury and Tomcat is also let enable those port as well. So many port being enabled. And also I use this small utility to start so many services. So many port has been enabled for a take purpose. Suppose you have a server. You don't know which port is enabled. So many things is enabled on your DMZ server, either inside. And XP is uh, Kali Linux in real world. It will be from outside, but in our case is in inside. So I enable Kali Linux. If I go there, it is in LAN segment. OK, so I put them in a LAN segment because my this interface is in LAN segment. This one. So I will assign from same range any IP and XP outside is from lens uh, net subnet. I already show you by the way, leave it you know. So let me log in root and tor is the password. Okay. So I need to assign IP address to Kali Linux first from the same range. So let me go to Kali Linux uh, interface. Okay, you can use a terminal to assign IP address either it's better to do it graphically here. You will find a sitting somewhere. Uh, sitting and this the interface to configure them. So go to wire and sitting and let me go to Ethernet and IP4 sitting manual. So we have already, by the way, 1.5 IP and 1.100 is our gateway. So it's good. We already have, so no need to assign. Let me check them if we have this IP or not. So the command is fconfig in Linux. So 1.5 and let me ping our gateway 192.168.1.100. This is my gateway uh, firewall IP. So yes, reachable. So it's done. My topology is ready. And outside we have 114.150 IP. Sorry, this one. 114.150. Now, if you hasn't configured IP4 DAS policy, anybody can down this services, this server, web server, which we have here. We already enable web server by seeing flooding attack in two minutes I can down this server. How you already know I show you as well I think so. So if I open a browser and go to any browser and open that server and then I will attack to make them down by seeing flooding attack and so many other attack you can use. So let me type 192.168.114. 150 is the XP IP. We where server is enabled. This the IP. Yeah, I think so. Rule is there or not? I think so. I remove the services that we are reachable there or not. So let me change the rule rather than port 8080 because we allowed only 8080. So this why it's not going. So allow all and make them all. Remove everything so all 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 and done. Okay, and let's try again now. It will be accessible. So this is a web server. And let me enable and down them in two minutes. So if we have already the command, otherwise I need to apply the command H ping. 150 is our server. Hping is a utility in Linux. It will generate sync flooding attack. If I go to web server, this server will be not reachable after a while. It will down. Because I am uh, going DOS attack. Look at this server will be become down. Look at the connection is timeout. If I stop the attack, sync flooding attack it will be accessible stop and refresh it will be accessible now after a while because so many sync they are receiving 
so many files they are receiving so they are not responding every they cannot respond to every packet so it's become down after a while the server will be up again because there is no more request again did i stop the server yeah so it has to be back now yeah okay so let refresh it will come after a while because it receives so many sync yeah it's available now if i generate again sync flooding attack again this server will be down after a while it will be not reachable again so it means we don't have any protection if somebody from outside attack on our web server which is in our side is again down let me stop the attack sync flooding attack. this one of good type of dos attack there are so many attack ping of death attack as well icmp flooding attack as well but in this case we have a web server so we make them down so now what i can do as a security engineer i need to configure dos policy that nobody can do such type of attack on our inside server so let's protect that server which is in our infra what we can do so there is go to seek policy and object down you will see ipv4 dos policy click on that one it's a separate policy nothing is configured that's why they attack on us click on create new and give them any name suppose dos protection whatever you give them a name and coming i told you in real world it will be from when to lane but here i will say it coming from lane and source can be anything destination can be anything services can be anything all now is starting the policy they say l3 anomalies l3 means layer 3 these two are related to layer 3 like a source session and destination session and then layer 4 anomalies anomalies is nothing but a sensor you know this like a sensor it sends something if this the uh, sensor name ip source session and ip destination so these are sensor when they sense ip related source session how many this the threshold suppose 10 i say and 10 i say if you sense that somebody from source ip generating more than 10 packet per second what action you need first we need to enable logs so that we can see what happened so i enable logs which we can see logs from here this the logs so this one is related to logs logs mean this is logs which alert generate and they will you will see the message in sock and also you know the monitoring this part is action which action to take disable which we don't need now is disable the policy block yes we want this one either to monitor monitor means it will monitor it will generate logs but it will not take any action to stop the attack so it's not a good thing so it's better for lab purpose i will say block and this my threshold threshold mean how many packet per second so i said 10 because i want to see the traffic quickly otherwise in real world they have a specific scenario if i mention something the default yeah this is the default one 2000 packet per second normally for tcp sync flooding attack you can use 2000 threshold normal is again depend on organization how many packet they want to see and to consider them as a attack but here i said 10 so source session if a source ip is generating that much traffic per second block it ip destination session if a source is generating that much packet to hit a specific destination 10 packet per second consider them and block them is our take as a layer 2 anomalies as a sensor as a layer 4 session again i want to block all the thing i want to enable logs like a layer 3 
TCP sync flooding attack. I just done sync flooding attack. Let me show you by the way. I didn't capture the packet. Let me show you why you will see. So if I on the wire shake, basically TCP is using three way handshake. Sync, sync acknowledgement and acknowledgement. Three thing. So I capture I think so I show you this some other lecture. So if I visit this one, so it will be three way handshake. You will see. This one sync sync acknowledgement and acknowledgement. If you want to see more, make them TCP. So sync sync acknowledgement and acknowledgement three thing three way handshake sync sync acknowledgement and acknowledgement. But in the case of attack, it will be sync all the time only. This was the attack. Where is the attack? This one. Where is? Let me go back to type that command. This one. But let me make my IP one five zero. Now you will see so many sync packet. Look at sync, 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 sync. So this is called sync flooding attack. Let me stop it. It's enough to show you where is control C. So that's why I'm telling them that if somebody is sending as a source sync flooding attack, how many packet? I will make them 10. By the way, 10 is not normal. 2000, 3000 is a normal. It's okay. So if somebody as a source IP is sending 10 sync flooding like this one, I, I don't know in one second I send how many sync. Look at for two second I enable in so many packet. Stop and quit. Okay. So consider and block it. Same as TCP port scan. You know, we can use a port scan in map. There is a, a Zen map as well as a graphical Zen map, I think. Zen map, yeah. Graphically, we call them Zen map, and we uh, normally as a command base, we call them N map. And let me scan the 114.150, which is our outside server. Intensive scan means in detail. So it will scan and whatever port they find out, they will tell you. Look at the scanning. They say port number 80 is open. Look at port 330. What is 330? I just told you there. I deliberately open. This is 33006. It's open. They say my SQL port is open. 21 is open. 114. They will show you all these port here in this attack. So you are collecting the data through scan. Look at 139 is open, 80 port is open, 443 is open, 3389 is open, 5060 is open. The other port I enable this application to open more port, this application. So that I can give you better idea. So all these port has been, this is called scanning attack, reconnaissance attack basically. So it means you are discovering so many ports. Now you can use this port to attack. Let me cancel this scan. And I'm doing this scan by the way. I'm passing the firewall and scanning and getting the details. So, so what the hell is this firewall? Why I'm using then this? So that's why I told them TCP port scan. If somebody is doing 10 packet per second, port scanning from the source, block it. Same as TCP source session from the same source. Let me make them 10. TCP destination hitting a destination IP. UDP flooding. There is UDP flooding attack. The same is like a TCP attack. We have a UDP base attack. Let me make them 10. UDP scan. You can do UDP scanning as well. UDP source anyway, you already know, we already discussed as a source, so just we change them UDP only. Then, ICMP flooding attack. You can use a script, ICMP means internet control message protocol, like a ping of death attack, we call them as well. If you sending a huge packet, and I already told you by the way, in so many courses, like if I ping yahoo.com, so it will ping. But if I increase the packet, 
length suppose 10 24 again it will ping but if i increase them to 5000 or 7000 packet it will not start sorry more it will not ping by the way yeah who is pinging it means they don't have protection so let make them google they have a protection and length of the file is suppose 20,000 it will stop working it will not this is called ping of death attack they say you want to test something either you want to bring me down to sending me a huge packet to test me why you are sending me a huge packet so this is called ping of death and again you can use so many utility in uh, Kali Linux so this is called ICMP flooding attack so I say if somebody is using sending I make them 10 either sweep if somebody want to try to make them 10 source from one source suppose 10 and also as a one destination somebody is hitting these four are related to the uh, you know the voice related so we don't have voice so let me ignore these one S SCTP which is something I forgot the uh, the abbreviation for this one uh, if I mention here, no, I did not mention here. SCTPI something protocol. Anyway, this is our related one. So my DOS policy is ready. You want to put any comments and you want to enable? Definitely, you want to enable this policy and OK. Now my policy is ready, which will protect me from LAN interface to going to all for all services and where we can verify go to logs and report and go to anomalies should be here somewhere this one anomaly so nothing is there right now because nobody did attack now we will do attack and let's go to Kali Linux and whatever we done before what was this was attack and let's do it now you will see here some traffic look at it says severity is high somebody from 1.5 which is our Kali Linux protocol number 6 which is TCP action is clear session and the attack was TCP sync flooding attack and yes we were doing sync flooding attack for scanning we use Zem server let me start scanning here again this IP and let me this one now this time they say that somebody is doing TCP sync flooding IP is a one source somebody is trying from one source to so much count this we increase the count is this one and it will be scan as well after a while the scan will also come here TCP port scan yeah it's come up now that somebody is trying to scan the port and yes we are trying to scan the port This TCP sync flooding, TCP port scanning, and TCP sync flooding attack. And this way you can try so many attacks, which I mentioned here. Because I need to copy the code of Kali Linux. I don't know this one. Like ZenMap, either this one, this the same thing. But this is command base. And the other one is uh, graphical. So it's up to you. You want to use graphical, either you want to use this one. So NMAP nmap dash o capital and 192.168.114.150 which is our xp server again it will show you here this ip source session now so you can try this one as well and you can verify from here this one is to search the other UDP base as well just put SNP with nmap so if I put SNP sorry S is skip it not capital so again you will see a new here the last one is IP source session you will see a new attack here it not started yet okay okay it started but the reason is 
stopping by this attack the same thing because it's interrelated so they count them this increase this one look at this 461 it will be increased 969 now and 4 so it's interrelated to the other attack that's why they stop them otherwise if one by one you want to try so i give them here an example just change like a far udp sync flooding attack and so many you can use these command and also i have a file as well because we use this in, in 40 gate as well by Palo Alto as well i remember the same dos policy if i go there to 40 gate and we have somewhere this dos attack yeah because we test one by one in Palo Alto as well so this is for tcp sync flooding attack using hping for icmp flooding attack you have to use this command so if i copy this one and go to kali linux control l and paste them but in our case our ip is 114.150 and the source can be anything it's okay so in this way we will see some other attack now look at icmp flooding attack now we can see now control c the same is this is icmp flooding attack for udp base you have to use this command either this to change the source so anyway let me do it this one control c and paste here and 114 is this time our this one okay now you will see udp base attack here this is udp flooding control c and so on for each and everything for port scanning you have to use this command for host sweep you have to use this command for tcp flooding again you can use this command and so on anyway i will share this file just copy and paste and change the ip whatever your ip is and you can test all the thing which we configure udp flooding ip source session icmp flooding tcp flooding tcp sync flooding tcp source session all has been verified here this been blocking by dos policy which we configure dos policy here to protect our services from outside this one so we tested one by one all these ip source is there destination is there sync flooding port scanning and all those stuff if it is increasing the threshold then again threshold depend on your organization requirement how much they want to set and there is a default as well which i told you is mentioned here normal environment thousand packet per second two thousand you can increase you can decrease per your requirement so this is called ip4 dos policy to protect such type of attack and we see it scanning has been stopped by this way port scanning and all those stuff can be stopped using dos policy not only the name is dos policy but everything coming under this dos policy